we got involved with, with FIP, uh, the Formative Instructional Practices, um, after we had done some other professional development. We did a couple book studies that one of them was about summative and formative assessments. We spent a lot of time on that. We did another one um, that, that looked at some of our grading practices um, and really tried to get to the place where the grades let you know what the student knew about the subject and not whether they were tardy or whether they were you know, in suspension or something like that. We wanted to remove all those factors and just let the grade really communicate what the student knew. I ensure that my students have clarity about what they're intended to learn by making sure that I'm assessing what I'm teaching. I use the evidence of learning to make instructional decisions for students based on how they do on those daily quizzes. If basically everyone is doing well, then I know that it's safe to move on and to keep pushing forward. I do have uh, many quizzes, many formative as well as summative. I collect a lot of data in that way about you know student achievement level. I do have periodic tests, obviously, that try to put it all together on maybe in a, in a larger scope. But uh, I have a, really have a variety of ways of collecting the data. We know we studied for a possible quiz today on the first half of the JFK speech. This is what I would like to do, okay? I'm gonna pass out this paper and it's gonna have five quotations from the speech. Now I only want you to worry about the first four. My impression is the students like the formative instruction. I believe that they individually think that it is helping them achieve at a higher level. So I would say overall the student acceptance has been very high, very positive. And I, you know, I see using it well into the future because I think they have concluded that it does help them. I think that's the biggest change is that with formative instructional practices I have gotten to where I'm assessing very regularly on paper and recording those scores instead of just taking a completion grade on homework that doesn't really tell me whether they know what they're doing or not. I would say the big takeaway that I have from formative instructional practices is just that I need to be intentionally taking stock of where students are at at all times and that I need to listen to my gut when I feel that they are getting something or aren't getting something so that I can use that to change my direction a little bit and just follow their lead. We did remove a lot of those those fluff things that, that inflated grades um, and, and didn't make them, but I think the, the positive result of that is, again, now when we're communicating those grades, it is definitely a reflection of what the kid knows and if they're taking advantage of these formative assessments, formative instructional practices that we're doing, they're performing well on the summative assessments, which are ultimately what the grade is based on. <laughs>